Hello, boys and girls. I'm so sorry for the technical difficulties earlier through Zoom. I am going to go over our expectations for our animal research guide. So first off, you have two options for completing your animal research planning guide. Number one, you can print off this page from the class dojo website or it's also found on Canvas. Or number two, you can write this on a blank sheet of paper if you don't have access to a printer, but you need to have the titles organized and your notes written nice and neatly in order so I can easily see what's happening. I am not accepting typed up notes. I wanna see your handwriting and I wanna see just your work through this. The first thing I want you to do for Tuesday, October 6th for your animal research planning guide is to go to the very last page and it says references. I'm going to highlight where this is on Canvas. It's right here. If you need to, go ahead and pause my video, take as much time as you need, and then join me back. This lets me know the websites that you're using to be able to find your information. When you finish writing that down, I want you to go ahead and click on this link. It'll send you right where you need to go. And I already have it pulled up, so here I am. I am learning about flamingos and they're part of the bird group. So I'm going to click on birds and then I'm going to locate flamingos. Now, boys and girls, earlier I already recorded a portion where I was looking at the habitat. Habitat is where your animal lives. So I already recorded that information right here, but I might want to find more details on another website and that's okay. For mine, I had a map right here, which I thought was kind of cool. And later for your final draft, which is next week, you're going to have a map already on there and you're going to color where your animal lives. So if you look right here, I determined that it lived in South America because it says that it will be the color yellow and I have it right here. I knew that it's in Africa because if you look, it's in this large portion of Africa right here. And then I see some spots in Asia. So I put those down mainly. And then whenever I was scrolling down earlier, I believe it's right here, maybe it's up higher. I saw that the flamingos build nests and mounds of mud in the waterway, but I didn't want to copy directly from the text because that's considered plagiarism. Those are not my words. So I took that sentence and I made it my own by saying live near waterway. Now, also today, I want you to think about three interesting facts. This is a little tricky because sometimes students have difficulty determining a fact versus opinion. So let's do a little game. Is saying that a flamingo is the prettiest bird, is that a fact or an opinion? I hope that you said that's an opinion because I might think they're the prettiest, but that doesn't mean everybody else in the world will think that. What about this? Flamingos turn pink based off of the food that they eat. Is that a fact or an opinion? That is a fact. Now, the information that we're writing on here, I don't want it just to come from your head. I want you to do research to prove that as well. Now, I've already taken a peek at this website and I've used all the information that I want for the first page. So it is a okay to use other websites as well, as long as you give them credit in the reference page right here. So what I did is I typed in interesting facts about flamingos for kids. When you're looking at another website, make sure that mom or dad or grandmother or whoever is around you is helping research with you to make sure that is a safe, kid-friendly website. I've already checked out this website, so I know that it's okay. And I have some interesting facts on flamingos. Before I even get into that, down below, if you look at my picture, I'm gonna write cool, facts. Oh, oops. Misspelled it and copy it down correctly. Got to make sure that I'm doing the website correctly. Cool kids. 
kid, not kids, I'll change that to an F, facts.com backslash flamingo. You will not be copying this because you're not going to do flamingos. You're going to do it on whatever animal you have chosen. Facts for backslash kids. So now I'm going to write down my interesting facts. This is the trickiest part because I have a lot of students that want to copy directly from the website. You've got to make it your own. So let's see if we can find some cool facts about flamingos. I've already taken a little peek at this. So I already know one that I want to share with you and I'm excited about this. Did you know that, let's see, where is it? Oh, believe it or not, there we go. They can actually fly better than people realize. It is a common misconception that flamingos do not fly, but they have the ability to fly hundreds of miles a day. Wow, I'm gonna say flamingos, can fly hundreds of miles in a day. So I've used this right here and I'm making it my own. I'm sorry for the loud noise. Somebody is having a party in the school. <laughs> I do not know what happens. Oh, they're working on something. That makes sense. Oh, I thought this was cool. We learned this in our video earlier that flamingos are born white. I'm going to write flamingos. Wait, let me use my sharp pencil. Flamingos are born whitish or white I'll say white or gray I thought that was interesting they changed based off of the food I know that from the video but I would have to give the video credit let's see if I can find any more flamingos ankles are located halfway up its leg okay that's kind of cool let's write that down I'm going to say its ankle is actually, because it doesn't say actually in the sentence, I'm writing my own sentence, halfway up its leg. All right, boys and girls, that is all for today. So take a second. You might want to check out another website. Make sure you have your habitat, interesting facts. If you find interesting facts on a website, give it credit on the very back. Make sure you have all of your references labeled. If you use multiple websites, you can continue this down. You don't have to have it all right here. Those are my expectations for today. Please do not go ahead and do the rest of this. We're going to be completing it throughout the week. All right, boys and girls, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Let's see if I can stop the video.